Okay, uh, good day. This video was created for my students of uh, Don Pablo S. Villafuerte High School here in Camarines Norte, uh, District of Mercedes. And if, if you find this is useful, even you are not my students, first watching this video, you are free to download it or to use this in your students. Hopefully, you will learn from this uh, video lesson. Okay, I am... Sir Eduardo D. Mali Jr., science teacher, science 10. So, our topic for today is the second quarter or the quarter two, the module one, the, de the development of electromagnetic wave theory. These are the development team of this module, so I'm not going to read it one by one. This is indicated in your soft copy or hard copy of the uh, self-learning modules for the students. The most essential learning competency compare the relative wavelengths of different forms of electromagnetic waves. And then the main topic of this module is the development of the electromagnetic wave theory. Uh, to begin with, we all know that we are surrounded with different types of waves. And most of them are invisible or cannot be seen by our naked eye. But we can perceive some of them. If you have listened to a radio on a television, uh, spoken as on a cellular phone, sent a text message in a messenger, or we are experiencing the so-called electromagnetic wave. Meaning, in our daily basis of in our environment, we are experiencing the electromagnetic wave. And even now that you are watching my video, you are also experiencing the electromagnetic wave. An X-ray taken and felt the warmth of the sun on your skin then you have experienced the electromagnetic wave. Therefore, we can say that the electromagnetic wave is existing in our nature. So in this module, you will learn how the electromagnetic waves came to be. Okay. And our targets for this module, describe electromagnetic waves. Identify the scientists with great contribution to the development of electromagnetic wave theory. Make a comic strip concept map of the contributions of the scientists to the development of electromagnetic theory. Before we proceed to the different activities included in this module, we have to answer this in your answer sheet or in your notebook. In my students, I am suggesting that you have to provide your activity notebook uh, for you to be able to save the concepts, the activities you had made, pieces involving in this module. So, let us start with number one okay in this try this number one who among the scientists below had formulated the electromagnetic wave theory letter a ampere letter b hertz letter c maxwell letter d oersted and number two what can electromagnetic waves travel through that mechanical waves cannot letter a air letter b wood letter c water letter d vacuum and number three, which of the following statements is incorrect? Again, incorrect about EM waves. A, EM waves can transfer energy through a vacuum, through a medium and vacuum. Letter B, EM waves vary in speed, frequency, and wavelength. Letter C, EM waves have electric and magnetic fields. Letter D, EM waves form when energy is transferred through field. For number four, an electromagnetic wave is produced by A, letter A, oscillating electric and magnetic wave. B, dispersion of water wave. Letter C, an earthquake. Letter D, vibration through air and other media. For number 5, electromagnetic waves are blank waves rather than longitudinal waves. Letter A, transverse. Letter B, compressional. Letter C, shear. Letter D, seismic. Okay. As we proceed with the different activities, uh, lessons here in this module, you will find out the answers in this pretest. So let us now proceed to do this. Okay, activity, a fact or a bluff. In our directions, read each statement carefully with fact if the statement describes electromagnetic waves or if the statement is correct. And bluff if the statement is incorrect. Number one, electromagnetic waves are formed when an electric field comes in contact with a magnetic field. Number two, EM waves are compressional waves. Number three, 
EM waves travel with a constant velocity of 3 times 10 raised to 7 meter per second in a vacuum. Electromagnetic waves can split into a range of, of frequencies known as the electromagnetic spectrum. The electric field and magnetic field of an electromagnetic wave are perpendicular or at, at right angles to each other. Let us now check if your answers are correct. Number one, the answer, this is fact. This is correct. Electromagnetic waves are formed when an electric field comes in contact with a magnetic field. And number two, the answer is bluff. Why bluff? Because EM waves are transverse waves. They are not compressional waves. So, number three, the answer is also bluff. Because EM waves travel with a constant velocity of 3 times 10, the exponent is 8, not 7, meter per second in a vacuum. If we are going to convert to kilometer and not in scientific notation, we are going to convert in kilometer, that is 300,000 kilometer per second. That is the speed of electromagnetic waves in a vacuum. And in number 4, the answer is fact that is correct. Number 5, also correct. So, let us now proceed to the timeline of electromagnetism and classical optics. So, in this timeline, we are going to uh, discuss the different scientists who contributed to the development or to the discovery of electromagnetism and the classical optics. So, the number one is Johann Ritter. He discovered the ultraviolet radiation from the sun. Next is 1820, Hans Christian Oersted. He is a Danish physicist and chemist, united the separate sciences of electricity and magnetism. And when Hans Christian Oersted's discovery, he united the separate sciences of electricity and magnetism. That's why we call it now as electromagnetism. So for your additional information, Hans Christian Oersted accidentally discovered this conducting a lecture on his class. So he develops an experiment in which he notices a compass needle is deflected from magnetic north when an electric current from the battery he was using was switched on and off, convincing him that magnetic fields radiate from all sides of the of a live wire just as light and heat, confirming a direct relationship between electricity and magnetism. Therefore, with the discovery of Hans Christian Oersted, he found out that the electricity and magnetism are inseparable, meaning they are interrelated. He also observed that the movement of the compass needle to one side of the other depends upon the direction of the current. Following intensive investigations, he conducted different investigations, different experiments as a scientist before giving a conclusion. He conducted different kinds of experiments. He published his findings proving that a changing electric current produces a magnetic field as it flows through a wire. Meaning, if a wire carrying an electricity or it is connected to a source, a wire can be converted to magnet or it can produce magnetic field or magnetism. And that is now currently used in different countries. For example, in the magnetic levitation train, that is electricity uh, to magnetism and different applications nowadays. Okay. In 1820, another scientist, Andre Marie Ampere, professor of mathematics at the Ecole Polytechnic, a short time after learning of Oersted discovery, that a magnetic needle is acted on by a voltaic current, conducted experiments and published a paper oh, and analyzed the chemi at the PSIC, attempting to give combined theory of electricity and magnetism. Oh, he showed that a coil of wire carrying a current behaves like an ordinary magnet. Oh, this is just a continuation of the idea or of the experiment of Oersted. He used also in telegraphy uh, during that time. The uh, communication is the telegraphy. He mathematically developed Ampere's law describing the magnetic force between two electric currents. His mathematical theory explains known electromagnetic phenomena and predicts new ones. His laws of electrodynamics includes the facts that parallel, parallel Conductors carrying current in the same direction attract and those carrying currents in the opposite direction repel one another. So, that is just like the property of magnet uh, repulsion and attraction property. One of the first to develop electrical measuring techniques, he built an instrument 
utilizing a free moving needle to measure the flow of electricity contributing to the development of the so, galvanometer. In 1821, he proposed a telegraphy system utilizing one wire per galvanometer to indicate a stir and reported experimenting successfully with such a system. However, in 1824, there's another scientist, Peter Barlow, reported its maximum distance was only 200 feet, meaning it cannot travel a long distance. So, meaning, it is impractical. So, in 1826, he published the memoir on the mathematical theory of electrodynamic phenomena, uniquely deduced from experiment, from experience containing a mathematical derivation of the electrodynamic force law. Following Faraday's discovery of electromagnetic induction in 1831, Ampere agreed that Faraday deserved full credit for the discovery. In 1821, Andre Marie Ampere announced his theory of electrodynamics predicting the force that one current exerts upon another. So, in 1826, uh, add additional information for ampere. When you say ampere, just put in, it in your mind. That is, is the unit of current. So in 1826, George Simon Ohm stated his Ohm's law or electrical resistance in the so published in the, this landmark pamphlet that uh, the unit Ohm's of electrical resistance has been named in his honor. Kapag 1931, Michael Faraday began experiments leading to his discovery of the law of electromagnetic induction. Through the discovery may have been anticipated by the work of Francisco Santidesche. His breakthrough came when he wrapped two insulated coils of wire around a massive iron ring bolted to chair. Okay, the discovery of Michael Faraday about the electromagnetic induction lead to the principle to construct the so-called electrodynamo or the first electric power generator. Okay, in 1845, Michael Faraday discovered that light propagation in a material can be influenced by external magnetic fields or the so-called Faraday effect. In 1855, James Clerk Maxwell submitted on Faraday's lines of force for publication containing a mathematical statement of Ampere's circuital law relating the curl of magnetic field to the electrical current. In 1861, the first transcontinental telegraph system spans North America by connecting an, an existing network on the United States to a small network in California by a link system, Ohama and Carson City via Salt Lake City. The slower Pani Express system ceased operation a month later. So in 1864, James Clark Maxwell published his papers on the dynamical theory of the electromagnetic field. In 1865, James Clark Maxwell published his landmark paper, A Dynamical Theory of the Electromagnetic Field. And the Maxwell equation demonstrated that electric and magnetic forces are two complementary aspects of electromagnetism. So therefore, with the different contribution, different scientists, they found out that uh, electricity and magnetism are two inseparable things that they are interconnected with each other. We can create magnet from electricity, we can create electricity from magnetism. So he showed that the associated complementary electric and magnetic fields of electromagnetism travel through space in a form of waves at a constant velocity of 3 times 10 raised to 8 meter per second. This is included in our pretest a while ago. He also proposes that light is a form of electromagnetic radiation and actually that city, that 3 times 10 raised to 8 meter per second is actually the speed of light in a vacuum. And that waves of oscillating electric and magnetic fields travel through empty space at a speed that could be predicted from simple electrical experiments using available data, he obtains a velocity of 310,740,000 meter per second. And that is the velocity of the electromagnetic waves. And he states this, this velocity is so near. It seems we have a strong reason to conclude that light, light itself, including radiant heat and other radiations, if any, is an electromagnetic disturbance in the form of waves propagated through the electromagnetic field according to electromagnetic laws. In 1873, James Clerk Maxwell published Ang Magnetism, which states that light is an electromagnetic phenomenon. And in 1887, Heinrich, Heinrich Hertz invented a device of the production and reception of electromagnetic radio waves. His receiver consists of a coil with a spark gap so, in 1888, Heinrich Hertz demonstrated the existence of electromagnetic waves by building an apparatus that produced and detected 
UHF radio, radio waves or microwaves in the UHF region. He also found that radio waves be transmitted through different types of materials that were reflected by others, the key to radar. Radar, this is the radio amplification detection and ranging. His experiment explained reflection, refraction, polarization, interference, and velocity of electromagnetic waves. In 1895, Wilhelm Conrad Röntgen discovers the so-called X-rays. So, we are now currently using this medical area. He named that X-rays because he do not know what kind of rays is that. So, maybe if obviously he named that as Röntgen array, that should be today called as Röntgen rays. But, he named that as an X-ray. Okay, let us now proceed to this activity one. So, in your activity notebook, you are now going to answer based on the discussion. We are going to match from this first uh, uh, column. We have been the number and then we have the underline. You are going to put the answer from the column B. Just put the letter only. For example, in number one, uh, what is your answer? Is that letter A contributed in the development? The developing equations that showed the relationship of electricity and magnetism. See the name of the scientist here at the lower portion of their pictures. So you can identify. You can uh, go back to my discussion about the timeline of the different scientists who contributed to the development of the electromagnetic wave theory. So that is the explore. So in activity 2, expanding your view. Now, direction, make a concept web comic strips of the contributions of the following science. And our guide questions, what insights did you learn about electromagnetic waves? So, you can now write, jot down in your activity notebook, what are the insights did you learn about EM waves? Or you, you may type here, you may comment here. So, I'm going to read all your comments here. What are your insights you learn about electromagnetic waves? And number two, how significant is the discovery of EM waves in our life? So imagine, if those scientists did not discover about the electromagnetic waves, do you think can you message someone using your cell phone? Can you call someone using our gadgets, our laptop, our computer? Or can you be updated in the different events happening worldwide with the use of your gadget keep this in mind about electromagnetic waves these are the different definitions the electromagnetic waves are disturbances that transfer through field electromagnetic waves are transverse waves and the next do not require a medium for transmission meaning even in a vacuum even without anything or any medium like air like water like any materials Electromagnetic waves can travel. Remember that property of electromagnetic wave. And travel with the same speed in the absence of matter or that is the so-called vacuum. And this speed is absolute. The EM waves travel at a constant speed of 300 million meter per second speed of light. Or if you are going to convert to kilometer, that is 300,000 kilometer per second. That is the speed. That's why even the, the speed Within the split of second, we can receive information or we can receive the messages sent from the different places going to us or we can send back our message to them because of this uh, speed of the electromagnetic waves. Electromagnetic, electromagnetic waves are produced by accelerating electrons. Electromagnetic waves are a combination of electric and magnetic fields that oscillate perpendicular to each other and to the direction of the wave. And scientists who did great contributions to the development of electromagnetic wave theory are as follows. We have Andre Ampere. Andre Marie Ampere, he demonstrated the magnetic effect based on the direction of current. We have Michael Faraday. He formulated the principle behind electromagnetic induction. Heinrich Hertz, oh, Heinrich Rudolf Hertz, he showed experimental evidence of electromagnetic waves and their link to light. So James Clerk Maxwell, he contributed in developing equation showing the relationship of electricity and magnetism and Hans Christian Oersted he showed how a current carrying wires behaves like a magnet so let us be thankful with these great scientists who contributed to the development of the electromagnetic wave 
So you are now familiar with the different scientists behind the discovery of electromagnetic waves. Let's check your understanding in the succeeding activity. So you're going to apply what you have learned. Okay, in this activity, entitled Connecting Ideas, the direction, read each statement correct carefully, put a happy face. So the statement is correct, and if the statement is incorrect or wrong, draw a sad face. Oh, underline the words that make it wrong and write the correct answer. So as simple as that, we have 1 to 10. So number 1, electromagnetic wave is considered as longitudinal wave. Number 2, EM waves do not require a medium to propagate. EM waves are combination of electric and magnetic fields that oscillates perpendicular to each other and to the direction of the wave. Number 4, EM waves are produced by accelerating protons. EM waves travel at a constant speed of 300,000 meter per second. Ampere showed experimental evidence of EM waves and their link to light. Faraday for, number 7, for Faraday formulated the principle behind electromagnetic induction. Number 8, Oersted show how a current wire behaves like a magnet. And number 9, Maxwell demonstrated the magnetic effect based on the direction of current. Number 10, Hertz contributed in developing equation showing the relationship of electricity. And congratulations, you have just finished the supplementary learning modules about the development of electromagnetic waves. So reflect, I have learned that. What have you learned? You may also type here in our video, in our comment section, you may type your learning. And you may also write down, I wish to ask my teacher about what is your question. And re reinforcement, keep a record of the different kinds of electromagnetic waves you use in one day. Uh, which EM waves do you use most often? So, uh, based on this module, maybe this reinforcement can be reinforced more in the, our next succeeding uh, modules, the continuation of this discussion. And in our vocabulary list, the following terms used in this module are defined as follows. So, electromagnetic induction. Uh, production of electromotive force across an electric conductor in a changing magnetic field. Electromagnetic wave, a disturbance in a field that carries energy and does not require a medium to travel. Longitudinal wave are waves in which the displacement of the medium is in the same direction or opposite direction to and direction of propagation of the wave. Transverse wave is a moving wave whose oscillations are perpendicular to the direction of the wave or path of propagation. And wave, when you say wave, a disturbance that transfer energy or this is the carrier of energy when you say wave. And yes, so what have you learned? We have here questions 1 to 5. So you are going to answer this 1 to 5. Identify what is asked or described in each item then write the letter of the correct answer. Number 1, electromagnetic waves are produced by blank A current B. Voltage source. C. Any disturbances. D. Vibrating charge. And, and number two, in the electromagnetic wave, the direction of propagation of the wave is blank. Letter A. Always to the right. B. Cannot be determined. C. Parallel to the electric and magnetic field direction. Letter D. Perpendicular to the electric and magnetic field direction. Number three, in the vacuum, the speed of magne electromagnetic wave is letter A. Zero. B, always the same as the speed of light. C, changing depending on the value of its wavelength. Letter D, none of the above. Number 4, he contributed in developing equations showed the relationship of electricity and magnetism. Letter A, Andre Marie Ampere. Letter B, Michael Faraday. Letter C, James Clark Maxwell. Letter D, Hans Christian Oersted. Number 5, which of the following statements is, is true about EM waves? Letter A, EM waves can transfer energy through a medium only. Letter B, EM waves vary in speed, frequency, and wavelength. Letter C, EM waves have electric and magnetic field. EM waves form when energy is retained in the field. So, for your additional enrichment activity, okay, we have the another activity here, my EM heroes. We are going to call this as EM wave scientists puzzle. Find, the encirc find and encircle the names of the five scientists who contributed in the development of EM wave theory. And in the letter B, identifying contributions, okay, the direction from your answer in figure 1, 
write the names of the scientists in the appropriate boxes in table 1 based on their contributions. Okay, our next video lesson, the module 2, the continuation of the... Okay, again, thank you. This is Sir Eduardo Dima Lee Jr. Thank you for watching.